good after good early afternoon 1 30 p.m eastern standard time on this thursday february 8th 2024 i'm xrp future millionaire and i reside in the great state of michigan so i want to go over a quick synopsis of why i'm coming on right now i wanted to do an update to update everybody on xrp we do have a golden cross that's happened in the one hourly and a bull flag is formed as well so we have two bullish indicators in front of us that if we look at we objectively without emotion see where we could go and see the consequences of breaking down out of this we will also take a look at that avenue as well this will be a pretty long update as we'll focus in on xrp the golden cross the bull flag we'll go through a little bit of terminology each step of the way so that i can help teach if you don't know if you're new or if you're a returning viewer, this will help you um, correlate what's going on today with what maybe you've learned in the past or maybe some of your own knowledge, but it'll at least compound what you know and it may help validate what we're seeing on the charts. And I would love your guys' opinion in the comments as we go through this. If you are watching this, let me know what you think or let me know if you disagree or agree. You know, I, I would love to hear your opinion. If you're new or returning, I need you as much as you need me. All people are welcome in this community. I don't care who you are, you're all welcome. The only thing I ask is we spread love around this community, kindness, and positivity. We don't play the victim here, we play the winner. So with that, let's get into this. XRP's up 0.76% on the day or at 5175. That does not tell the story. We had a little bit of a dump down not too long ago. It's nothing that was major, but it was something that was very important for me personally. The, the, that are the daily time frame, we do have an engulfing candle. And if we can start pushing up here before the end of the day, this could end up being something important. My first area for us to push and hit, even if we're bearish, is to come up. So I'm anticipating a touch at about 526 at minimum. 534 seems more likely um, to see where this level would go. But I still think these are the predetermined resistance so that we can see if we're going to get to the top of the descending triangle. There's no doubt in my mind that a very explosive move's coming. My only question has been is it's going to happen within this descending triangle or if it were to come back down to 44 and then blow off the top. Right now it looks like how we were talking yesterday, and this is in the daily. Let's go back into the one hourly right now. The one hourly is showing us two key indicators right now. Or two things of recognition. One, we can see clearly we've had a golden cross with the exponential moving averages. So the 20, 50, 100, 200 day, the 20 crossed the 200 and now we're being supported on it, on the 20 day. That's a very bullish signal. So that's the first thing I want to go over, the exponential moving averages. So since we've had a golden cross, I just want to read very quickly what it is just so that you can get a bigger... Um, understand or a better understanding than just me saying oh the 20 day moving average crossed the 200 so i had to move my head over because it's pretty sunny um but a golden cross is a technical pattern where the short-term moving average of an asset or the overall stock market suppresses or surpasses its long-term moving average usually the short-term moving average is the 50-day moving average while the long-term average is the 200 day moving average investors often view the pattern as a sign that a security or the stock market has turned a corner into a bullish phase so now we need to know how a golden cross works a golden cross is a bullish pattern in which a short-term moving average typically 50 days surges past a longer term moving average typically the 200 day and that's exactly what i use the 50 100 uh, or the 20 50 100 200 i like to see the 20 move because it's a longer moving average but a lot judge the 50 which has already happened but the 20 is a longer that's a better indicator to me indicating positive upward momentum a moving average is the average price of a security over a specified period of time. Technical analysts often track patterns in moving averages and trading volumes to make buy and sell decisions. So we all know the death cross, which is a bearish trend. That's the opposite, and that occurs when the short-term moving averages of a security drop below the longer term. So a golden cross has three basic stages, and then we'll go back into the chart and continue this uh, analysis. A downward trend in which the short-term moving average is lower than the long-term moving average, begins to reverse. Buying volume begins to exceed selling volume. The short-term moving average crosses over the long-term moving average, creating the golden cross. 
The bullish trend is confirmed as the price continues to rise and the short-term moving average remains higher than the long-term moving average. While 50 days and 200 days are the typical periods for determining crossover patterns, some investors use shorter windows of time. For example, short-term uh, traders may examine the 10-day and the 50-day moving averages. So that's all I wanted to really discuss there of what a golden cross was. So now let's get back into XRP. So as we can see, the 20-day moving average has clearly come through the 200. Um, if we're looking at it from, man, is it sunny? We've come, we're about to have the 50 days about to come through the 200. So this would be, if you're using the 50 day moving average coming through the 200, that interpretation, you could do that. So we have a pending golden cross here from the 50 to the 200. But as far as what I use, we've had a golden cross with the 20 cross and the 200. That's just, I like to take the 20 days out going all the way through the 200. That's a longer time frame. Yes, I know the 50 coming through the 200 will take a little bit longer, but that's really just right around the corner now. But the 20 through the 200, and if it continues to hold, the 20 is my key indicator. But that's what I was seeing there. And then the bull flag within that is another positive um, indicator. A bull flag is a continuation pattern. And we can see that bull flag is set up here. I can draw it out just a little bit, just so it's a little bit easier to see within. You've got a bull flag set up here. So to me, the technical target, if you were to break up, it could come anywhere between this area. That's that 526 to 534. That's the small move. That's what I think it's trying to finish, even if it's bearish. It looks like it's trying to push out into that region. If you were to break down, you would know that it's breaking down because we come below that 200. That's why the 508 or the 50 day and the 200s right there. But the 508 level is that nice support here, you know, for when it was coming down. You don't necessarily want it to just keep coming down you want to have one spike up so then we can contend with this area up here it's not a huge move a couple percent but it would do xrp well to come up into that area so let us know if we're bearish or bullish in that range and then we can go from there because if we do get above the 526 well then we know the 534 pivot level will be very real scenario so now that we know xrp is in a bull flag now we need to see the bull flag so what's a bull flag so let's get into the bull flag. So basically with the bull flag too, you're looking to buy the first candle as well as you come through. If you can find that first candle that broke the old high when the bull flag started, like it's showing right here, which is why I pulled this one out, you will be able to have the better advantage. And you'll see in our own setup right now, you can see how this is playing out exactly like that. It came down, so you had, let me just pull out my drawing tool real quick. So it came down for resistance, you were coming up, through here we went psh, 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 and then it broke up a little bit now that first candle that comes over there that looks like it's going to push up that's the candle you're technically supposed to buy to finish off this move if you're looking for a quick opportunity now sometimes that leads you uh, a little bit lagging behind because the move can already happen before you are able to buy it because it happens so volatilely so right now though it certainly looks like this is starting to break up if we just if we just look at this logically just so we can actually see we started to come down like this and the pattern kind of if you come from here in the one or that's the 30 minute let me go into the one hourly because it actually gives us a little more formation um and it'll make it a little bit easier for me to kind of show this so we had a wick here and if you come through here like this that's where we started to come through with this flag while at the same time whoops we can go through the down or the uptrending part of this so that you can see how it formed and you can use your own interpretation, but this is this is what I was getting out of this. So then you come like this, and we can see that we already have a flag that's formed there. This is kind of the formation that took place within it. You had a resistance, a support. And now this first candle that's breaking above that is technically going to validate this breakout. So right now we're in the on the verge of trying to validate a breakout out of the one-hour bull flag. And that would only bring us to about 526 to the 534 area. Not saying it's a life-changing amount, but if it breaks out to the top side, this would break. And we would have to see how we react to the next level. And the next level is just a little bit farther up. And if we didn't push out, we would consolidate back down to the bottom of this flag and see how it works out. So let's continue talking about the bull flag. So... What is a bull flag pattern? A bull flag pattern is a bullish chart pattern that occurs when a stock is in a strong uptrend. It is called a flag pattern because when you see it on a, the chart, the large green candle of the initial move, 
looks like a flagpole. And the sideways consolidation near the highs look like a flag or a pennant. The inverse of a bowl flag is a bear flag. I was recently... Oh, not that. Um, I want to continue reading. So bullish flags are characterized by lower tops and lower bottoms with the pattern slanting against the trend. But unlike wedges, these trend lines run parallel. Bear, bearish flags are comprised of higher tops and higher bottoms. Bear flags also have a tendency to slope against the trend. And you can see the bear flag breaking down as opposed to the bull flag breaking up within this diagram. So I think that's a pretty nice interpretation just so everybody can see these. Um, so that's the bull flag. So now when we go back to XRP and you look at the actual bull flag setup, I think it's pretty clear that we're in a bull flag. It's coming above the bull flag as we speak in the one hourly. And that hold of support should be around 5155. 518's a major pivot point as well. So if this breaks out, it's going to break over that pivot point. If we just do a quick measurement, just the old-fashioned way, let's just say it breaks out right here. That would give you a move to about the 5313. So yeah, right between 526 and 534. So if you look at a technical move, XRP could technically be looking at here anywhere between... It's about a 3% move here if XRP does break up out of this hourly bull flag. Let's just put it that way. We'd be looking at about a 3% move here. So 3% on top of this little formation. And the interesting thing, that would get us through the first layer of this descending triangle. So that would be a tier 1 breakout, we could call it, if it gets up there. And then we'd be testing to see if we can reach the tier 2 level. With the tier 2 level before a breakout, you would come up to about $0.56. Cents. So right now you could say we're on a level one breakout if we were to push this bull flag up. And then to support this, we would have to have two things happen to try to go for a level two breakout, or at least a level two touch. If this breaks out, you'd have to at least hold this right here and on a retest, like it would come here and hold. And then you'd have to get up here and hold this to push. Or you could come up in one shot, end up like this, and then play off of this. But more than likely, because it's leveled out, if it broke up, hit 534, you just come back down, retest this 52 cents approximately, and then layer out if that's the case. But it does look like a move is in store, assuming that this plays true. If this plays true, the golden cross and the hourly and the bull flag that I think is pretty identifiable in the one hourly is telling us that we should break up here. It looks like we're going to break up here now. I know it looks bearish overall in the markets somewhat. Even though Bitcoin came up to 45,179, XRP has been pretty suppressed when you look at its actual move. Bitcoin was in the same kind of setup and it's broken up multiple times out of its setup. It didn't even consolidate out of this. So when we look at Bitcoin, 46,355 is the cup formation. So it looks like to me, XRP might be waiting for that last volatile spike, or it at least has a little bit of a catalyst here because Bitcoin, that cup and handle looks like, or at least the cup, looks like it has to finish. The first tier is at 46,355. We have a pivot point at 47K that I'm not interested with right now. That cup formation at that approximate level, I think, is what we need to look at at 46,335. Uh, if it gets above that, then 47,000. And if we do hold that pivot level of 47K, Bitcoin has eyes for that broadening red resist or that wedge resistance at 50,000. It already held the wedge support. So, and it's already come out of the short term mediary patterns where it used to be a bull flag before it proved to be a wedge. And we kept these on here just for transparency, but it's come all the way back through the Bitcoin formation of a bull flag and it's, it's broken out of it beautifully. It used it as a perfect consolidation. So, if you're watching, this is how we consolidated. That was an inverted right arm, as I talked about. And now it looks like we're coming up to that leg formation. So the leg in the sand, as I always say. So basically, if I circle this real quick, you came down to an inverted arm, inverted head, inverted right arm. Now if we come up, you want to do something like this, and you'd get that inverted leg. So that's how I see this, what is going on here. So drop down, inverted left arm, drop down again to create the inverted uh, head, came back up to create the inverted right arm and now we're going to come out to create the inverted right shoulder or right leg if it plays out perfectly so how you have this boom into this into this now you come up into this 
boom and you're trying to form that so then it comes back down into this so that's how you would finish off this pattern so if bitcoin has eyes to finish the pattern it is 47,000 area and that's not just 47 you see the wick up here that could be how we get calls towards that 50,000 on that wedge formation but as it is that's what we're looking at that's what i'm looking at and this move did not happen up here so you can't just say oh the targeted move is way up there 53,000 bitcoin did break down so even if you look at that old hey if it breaks up or if it breaks down it's a good way to look at it because now you can come here and be like well if it bounces off here what's the target from right here and i'm telling you it seems like it wouldn't do what it's supposed to do but we break out from there now we say but you can see that's like 47,000. I don't know why it keeps, there we go. But it literally is targeting that 47K area. That You can't make that up. So that would finish off the move even on a dump down and then a break back up. So that's what I'm looking at. This is what I'm really seeing right now. I know Bitcoin's overextended in the hourly. It's, it's completely overextended. But when the markets are manipulated, I always say things will run until they're not. They'll run until they're done pushing. And right now, you can see in the two hourly, is Bitcoin putting in a reversal candle? That is the only question we have in front of us for Bitcoin. But the 30 minute, again, is trying to break up out of here. So we'll see. We'll see. Bitcoin, the fact it came this high, would I be surprised if it goes to 47? Maybe I'd be surprised if it gets there right away. But I would not be surprised if it finishes off this cup at 46,355. That's where my eyes are at. That's where I'm laser focused at for Bitcoin. So I'm looking for a 46,355. If it breaks down, we got first layer at 44,000. That would be the old bull flag setup. So that's what I'd be looking at underneath. One more quick look on XRP. It's at 517 up 0.66% on the day. XRP, if it breaks up out of this hourly bull flag, the technical target is in between 526 and 534. It's right around 53 cents. We also have a golden cross in the one hourly as we discussed earlier. So I hope the not only visual learning, but also the explanation through the actual definitions helped everybody understand what a bullish cross or a golden cross is and also the um, bull flag set up in the one hourly what that uh, implications are if it breaks off. So with that being said, I'm XRP Future Millionaire. I thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart for being a part of this community. If you do appreciate what I do and you want to show support, I encourage you to join Tom's Army. The more emoji badges going around chat show the more support and the pay it forward mentality. I need your help as much as you need mine. I need you to help fund my uh, program since I don't do any paid promotions, advertisements, or sponsorships of any kind. It truly is funded by Tom's Army and allows me to do this in the way that I see fit. It's always been my dreams and goals to be able to push something that I understood more than most and be able to help people. I learned early on in life that I get more of a joy out of helping people than doing it myself. So if I can teach somebody to do what I know that has worked for me and I see somebody else succeed with that information, it, it gives me gratification like I cannot even explain. But I still need funding to be able to run this show so that I can do this as my job and yada, yada, yada. So I hope with the dedication and time I put in, you see fit to give me a chance. You give me an opportunity by hitting that like button, by sharing this to one of your friends. As we say, watch, recycle, repeat in this community. Watch the content, recycle it to friends and family, and come back by repeating then watching the next update. And it, it can't get done without the members of Tom's Army. So from the bottom of my heart to each and every member of Tom's Army from one month all the way up to 34 months, we have somebody in Tom's Army. I thank you so much because without you, I would not be able to do this. Without you, I wouldn't be able to put this information out here in the way I do. And without you, I would have to take paid advertisements so that I can pay my way. But because of the very, very, very loyal and very unselfish members of Tom's Army, that $9.99 you allow me to give a free viewing experience for the rest of the community to where I don't have to pay for my updates or make anybody pay for my updates and all content that is needed is received. It's my greatest goal is to give everybody the information they need, give you the info, give you the ingredients, and allow you to cook it. Whether or not you eat it raw or not, that's your choice. But if you cook it the right way and you take my advice, I am not a financial advisor, but I can lead you in the right direction based on my own portfolios. And you can watch it in real time as this um, unfolds. Again, thank you all so much. If you want to find a different way to show support to the show, 
buy the FUD stops here t-shirt. It's got XRP Future Millionaire quote on the bottom. But you can find that in the video description below. And it's just, it pops up on all the videos. So that's the only shirt I actively have now. The FUD stops here. And if you would, it would be a great um, way to show support to the show and allow me to continue funding this. Because that's going to be our greatest advantage or disadvantage is to see if we can continue funding this into the years to come without having to take those paid promotions and things like that. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all that allow me to do this without doing that.